Okay, praise God. Uh, glad to see each one of you tonight in our Zoom meeting. All right, so I'm talking about, about seasons of life uh, and the tie in with our aging, the, age, the aging, our age, right? You can see in this uh, picture of the four seasons, uh, maybe you can look at the next one is easier, summer, spring, autumn, winter. You can see the four seasons there. Okay. Corner. Uh, well, as Malaysians, we don't go through four seasons. So we have summer, 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 summer. All right, hot, hotter, hottest. All right. So, but in, in many uh, countries, you can have the four seasons of life. All right. Uh, actually, Malaysia is going through. Uh, uh, it's going to be an aging country. Right? According to the the uh, understanding. Uh, if you have a, a population more than 65 years old, if there's 7% of the total population, then you're considered as an aging country, all right? So Malaysia, by 2020, we will have 2.4 million people that is 65 years and above. That includes me, okay? I'm in the aging, uh, I'm in the, considered the seniors in the country. According to STAR, uh, the, the, the people with the, uh, oldest population, state by state, is Perak, 15.3% above 65, Penang, 14.9%, and Malacca, third. So these three uh, states, are the, the, the old people is the most. Well, according to trends and, and migration and urbanization, in five, ten years' time, uh, of course, Salango will, will come out soon. Will beat the rest of the state. Now, it's interesting to note that the most productive years of our life, did you know, according to research and statistics, the most productive years of our life is between 60 to 70. All right. Some of you are there yet, some of you are just beginning, uh, some of you are, are retired, but did you know that during your 60 to 70 years old are your most productive years? Interesting, isn't it? Second is 70 to 80. So there's still uh, years ahead of us, like Caleb when he was uh, 80 years old, he said, let me go and conquer the mountain, All right? And 50 to 60 is the third most productive year. So any time from 1 to 50, you are developing, you are growing, you are maturing, and then until you reach 60 years old, then come productivity, All right? So it's interesting. Uh, the average age of people who won the Nobel Peace Prize is 62 years old, okay? The average age of CEO of Fortune 500 company is 63 years old. The pastors of 100 biggest church in America is 71 years old, okay? The Pope, the average age of the Pope is 76 years old. Our present Prime Minister is 72, Anwar is 72, uh, Mat Sabu is 65, uh, Lim Sen is 79. Donald Trump is 73 years old. Bernie Sanders, Joe Biden, 77, 78 years old. Xi Jinping from China is 66 years old. So if you, you can see the, the age range, all right? 60, 70, and slightly above 70 are the leaders. They are mature leaders, all right? So I'm going to talk about four seasons, four seasons of life, all right? And, and the way that God works in, he works in cycles. The tide comes in, the tide goes out. There is a the day and night, day and night. And then the season, spring, summer, autumn, winter. There is a cycle that is in and out, which is a very, is God's rhythm, all right? So the first season is winter. Winter is is uh, uh, all colors seems to vanish in winter. Uh, it's colors reduced to black and white and gray is freezing, is snowing. I don't know how many you like winter. Some of you do, I know. You go during winter to enjoy the cold, right? But a lot of time, winter is where there is this uh, days are short and nights are long. And a lot of people will curse when winter comes and complain of the cold and they want to go to a warmer climate. Oh, well, they have got a, a fireplace where you 
warm yourself. Remember when you were in New Zealand during the uh, winter time, it is freezing and I had to chop firewood. Wow, it's, it's a tough job just to have a little small fireplace. And of course, if it's a snow place, you know how difficult to shovel snow it is. Back breaking is tough. Of course, if you, there's winter sports, if you like to do skiing and snowboarding, snowboarding, John's leg was broken or his arm was dislocated and it was snowboarding. Uh, it's a winter sport. And of course, uh, the migratory birds during autumn, they will fly away to, and then they will escape winter. And of course, bears hibernate during winter time, all right? So winter, uh, in terms of our heart condition, uh, there is this uh, the symbolic of, of pain or difficulty or turbulent time during winter. Right, so we can find that winter is usually very tough. All right, if you follow the, the nature of winter, uh, you withdraw when you're in this winter time of your life, you withdraw and you hibernate. Okay, and it is unwise to pursue uh, a new endeavor during winter time. You lie low, and it's a time for you to recuperate, and you, you find a, a hiding place. All right, that's, that's the uh, there's a place for us to hide in, in the presence of God. He is like a hiding place during winter season of our life. Uh, during winter season of our life is where we learn silence and solitude. Okay, where we can learn to wait upon God in silence and and allow Him to speak to us and away from the helter and skelter of life where we can just wait upon the Lord. And it is very crucial right now whatever season of our life is to learn that contemplation, to learn that the kingdom of God is within us, to develop this spiritual discipline. So when winter comes, when our eight catch up in our life, then we learn to hibernate, we learn to withdraw, we learn to find solace and in the presence of God, you know, as we grow older in life, uh, you come to a point of our life where we cannot walk, we cannot go out, maybe we are bed, bedridden or maybe we're in a home. It's a time for us to equip ourselves. Then we learn to realize that God is with us. The kingdom of God is within us and then we can learn to talk to God. We have a, a good relationship with God and it's a, it can be a wonderful time even during pain and difficulty and loneliness. We have God with us. So there's a winter season of our life. And then, of course, there is that springtime. Wow, springtime is a beautiful season. Yes. Springtime is a, a beautiful transition from winter to springtime. According to a, a Zen mystic, when one flower blooms, it is spring everywhere. Okay, so springtime is wonderful. Beginning of new life. There's, there's color involved. Of course, this is uh, what I call the cherry blossom. Uh, beautiful flowers after winter is where spring comes in. Of course, spring uh, is, is, they say spring is, a, a, is, is, is uh, the youngest season. The oldest season is winter. They say winter was there from the very beginning. Uh, it rained amid silence and bleakness for millions of years. Of winter, then comes vegetation and then comes spring. All right. So spring is a youthful season. That's why I pick up this picture of our Malaysian youth, young, right, exuberant. Then uh, is is uh, an energy, right? It's, it's great energy of, of spring, of jumping out and and experiencing uh, challenges in life, right? Springtime. So spring is it's a youthful season, all right, where where there is a, a, a rush of life of promises and, and hopes and possibilities, all right? You know, we, we are young only ones, okay? But the, the youthfulness passed very, very soon. Uh, thank God in our midst, I, I believe there are some young people, I don't know whether Eunice is around or Joel. And then of course, Matthew and, and Christine, the children of Cecilia and Paul, right? They are, they, are, they, are, they are in their youthfulness. Of course, Janelle and one or two other youth, youth around us. All right, it's, it's a great season of our life to see youth still uh, uh, growing up in the Lord. Right, I remember our youth camps. 
I remember youth camps. When I was a youth pastor, we would go to camp from Ipoh to Penang to Malacca and a lot of activities. There was a great fun time, a great uh, relationship building time. Uh, and we spent overnight long nights. We recuperate very fast. And, uh, and even today, uh, we always reflect our own class, uh, WhatsApp group. We always reflect to the good old days when we were a scout, good old days when we were running for sports, the good old days when we played soccer together, all right? Uh, strength of beautifulness, all right? And it's wonderful to remember those days of youthfulness, the springtime, okay? Uh, our youthful days where there is new adventures, new projects, where there's energy and there's, and there's growth potential. When we were young days, I, I'm so glad I went to Bible school when I was 19, 20, 21, I graduated already. Still a, a youth, still there's so uh, great potential of developing uh, the character. And after that, after I got married, we went to feast in Philippines. Again, it was youthful days. 30, 30s, in the 30s, early 30s. And to study and go to a new place. And then also, during a sabbatical, I consider it still in a, in, a, in a very open stage where we, we, we learn ministry. It's a beautiful season of our life, all right? But there's hope. Uh, hopefulness and we are single and, and are newly wet, so right, we, are, we have that. And youthfulness is, is a time uh, where difficult transitions come naturally in unforced and spontaneous way. When we are youthful, we can go through difficult transitions naturally and, and sp spontaneously. All right, that's the, that's the strength of youth. And remember, we, we went to the Philippines. We stayed there for three years. We enjoyed our time there in a in new culture, uh, to, to mix with the Filipinos and a uh, new place to eat balot and, and, and experience Thai food was no problem. And then when we came back, we went to Penang. Penang is so different from Malacca. The people there, the, the subculture, the strong Hokkien influence. Again, we went to Penang for two years and Jeanette was born in Penang. And Penang came to Malacca, right? Again, there is an easy, easy adaptability. And of course, then we went to New Zealand for a sabbatical. And we went to America and, uh, and, and different countries that we, when we went to when we were young, adaptable, easy, all right? And, and, and now, off and on, we still go to Indonesia. So there is that, that springtime when we have that great adaptability of young, the youthfulness, all right? And after the uh, spring, after the winter, the spring, then comes summer. All right, summer. Wow, oh, summer is hot. Huh? Uh, where spring blossoms into the summer and grows. Uh, spring blossoms and grows in the summertime. You can see that it's, it's, it's a hot sun over there. All right. Uh, summer, people go to the beach, especially, I know, you can understand. Uh, now, during COVID-19, the even during this time, they said the American beaches are full because it is summer. They cannot tahan. Huh? They're supposed to have uh, social distancing, but they say, where can we go? The pubs are closed, the restaurants are closed, the many places are closed, so the, only the beach is open. And they're so dangerous. Right? But summer is bad, the people go to the beach, all right? Go to the beach and enjoy a swim, all right? And families go to the beach during summertime, okay? But it's full of colors and... Uh, and full of uh, light and growth, all right? Colors, a time of light and growth and arrival. Winter is gone, spring is gone, new life has come, then comes summer when everything is more stable, there's growth, and now it's a time of maturity, all right? Where you, where you develop great patience during, during summertime, great balance during summertime where you have maturity, all right? Maturity in life and stability and your character is forming, all right, during summertime. We call it the first half of our life, first half. We grow up as a youth, we develop, we graduate from university or college or high school. Then we develop our careers, careers. 
All right, and then we work hard. No, then we 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 buy our first car, and then we pay installment. No, we, we we buy a house, and then we pay for uh, twenty years, thirty years of installment. And then we, we get married. All right, and then we raise up children. Then we send them to school. Then we parent them during that time of turbulent times. All right, and then then we we send our children to study. They, they graduate from university and colleges. So so this time of summer. Busy time, maturing time, growth time, stability time, where we can develop all the various uh, parts of our life. And uh, there, there are many risks. We take many risks during this time, of course. We are already trying our best to work in many areas in ministry, as I can remember during this uh, summer season of our life. We got involved in that church development, brand new. We are pioneers in this. Uh, healthy church growth. We are in some ways pioneer in the coaching. Uh, many years ago, TLC, Transformational Leadership Coaching, and now people are just beginning to learn coaching. But those years, we tried coaching, we tried con uh, our basic life principles, advanced uh, homeschooling, we tried the 3DM, discipleship. We have taken many, many risks, many, many challenges in ministry. Many a pioneering, many exploratory things in our spiritual dynamics. Uh, no regrets. We learn a lot of things during this time where, where, where there is that uh, we always land on our feet during summertime. We have enough foundation. We have enough character. We have enough maturity. Even though we go through different challenges, we always land on our feet. Okay, final uh, season is the Autumn season, all right? Summertime grows in the autumn. It's one of the favorite uh, time of the year. Uh, beautiful, all right? Uh, the, the ex our experience in New Zealand is nothing compared we went to uh, Seoul, Korea, uh, 2017 for the, the discipleship conference. Beautiful autumn leaves. Uh, uh, autumn is also a harvest time, all right? Harvest time. It is is a is a, a spring. Then come the, the the summer 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 months, and then finally when the seed is grown underground and is maturing and growing during summertime, then comes autumn, the season of of harvest where there is fruitfulness. Autumn season of our life where there's beautiful grapes and other fruits in our life. So seed sown in spring, nurtured in in summer. And now yield is fruit in autumn. This is a very exciting season of our life when there's that time where there's fruitfulness. One of the great feasts of the year is a harvest feast when all the years of toiling and, and sowing and finally uh, comes harvest time. The fertility of the earth yield is, yield is fruitfulness. So in, in this, uh, this uh, autumn season of our life, the past experiences almost unknown to, to you now yield their fruit. Okay, uh, there are many things that happen in our life in our past uh, our, our trials, the difficulties, our failures, our mistakes, uh, uh, our challenges in our life. God is molding us, preparing us, and right now is the time for us in the autumn season of our life before we go into winter again. All right, there is that, that uh, fruitfulness. Autumn is a time of great gathering. Great gathering uh, is a time for us to integrate all of our experiences of life. It is, it, is, it is a time of what I call convergence. You know? We converge finally to our, our, our passions, our giftings, our experiences. It is a time of great gathering. It, it's a, a time of harvesting the fruits of our experiences in life. All right, the things I learned in, in basic seminar, the things I learned in, in, in uh, coaching, the things I learned in, in, in net church development, a healthy church, in, in, in discipleship, the 3DM, in contemplative prayer, all the things right now is, is coming together, experiences and principles right now is beginning to bear fruit. All the years, from the Sunday school days, from the 
youth pastor from my marriage, uh, raising up children and releasing them uh, to the kingdom of God, pastoral ministry for 30 over years in Malacca, in Penang, in, in Glad Tidings, PJ. Uh, my experience in, in, in an executive, uh, executive in the council, as a Southern Division Supervisor in the uh, Malacca Pastors Fellowship and in Bethel for 35 years, going through church spirit, all, all of life's experiences, learned, shaped us. And right now, I believe the next phase of life is going to be the best years of our life. All right? It's, a, it's going to be the most fruitful years that is between 60 to 70. This is the exciting part of this seasons of life. So next week, uh, actually the following week, because next week we have a special guest speaker. Next, the following week we have called, we have the, I will talk about the autumn season of my life. All right, it's an exciting time where this is the, the last season of strength, maturity, before we go into winter, where we have to slow down and hibernate and work from home literally. So may God help us as we go through these four seasons of life to see where you are at and how God can use you and bless you with your soul. No matter what season you go through, at the end of the day, God wants us to bear fruit in the seasons of our life. Amen. Praise God. Uh, I, I trust that uh, tonight's sharing will help you to continue your Walk with the Lord. All right, then we, we're going to break into uh, breakout groups. Then I'll, I'll explain to you later. God bless you. Amen. <laughs>